Bandeyam Shri Guru Shri Yatha Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Saganaraganatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishakam Vitam Shri Om Ajnana Timaranda Shagana Jana Shalakaya Chakshura Milidam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Gurva Bhishtam Supurakam Gurgana Rasi Shasambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samastaveda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanagam Govinda Vidam Ujjwalam Varatanam Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Bande Vishwa Gurun Shah Divyad Bhagavad Prem Noe Bijapranam Devam Divya Tanum Suchanda Varanam Balarka Chilanshitam Sandrananda Puram Sadeka Varanam Vairagya Vidyam Budim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Banditam Shubaram Madeka Sharanam Yashishwara Sri Dharam Banshako Patarubya Syakripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Nam Pavanibyo Vaishnavebyo Namonama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prima Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavishe Nama. So we're reading from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami with translation and commentary by Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is Madhya Leela chapter 17. The Lord, the Lord travels to Vrindavan. I'll start with verse number 152. Matura chalite pate jata rahijai Krishna nama premadiya lokere nachai. Wherever the Lord stopped to rest on the way to Matura, he delivered the holy name of Krishna and ecstatic love of Krishna. Thus he made the people dance. Purve jena dakina jaite loka nishtarila paschima deshe taiche sab vaishnava korila. When the Lord toured South India, he delivered many people, and when he traveled in the western sector, he similarly converted many people to Vaishnavism. Pati jahan jahan hoi jamanu darshan tahan japa diya pare premi achetan. When the Lord was going to Mathura, he came across the river Jamuna several times, and as soon as he saw the river Jamuna, he would immediately jump in falling unconscious in the water in the ecstasy of love of Krishna. Matura nikate aila matura dekiya dandavadhaya pare primavishtahaya When he approached Matura and saw the city, he immediately fell to the ground and offered obeisances with great ecstatic love. Matura siyahoila vishranti tirte snan Janmastane Keshava Deki Korila Pranam. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered the city of Mathura, he took his bath at Vishram, Vishram Ghat. He then visited the birthplace of Krishna and saw the deity named Keshavji. He offered his respectful obeisances to this deity. Premanande Nachigai Sagana Hunkar. Prabhura Prima Vesha Deki Loke Chamatkar. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chanted, danced, and made loud vibrations, all the people were astonished to see his ecstatic love. So, this loud vibrations is Hunkar, when the Lord is, is, uh, is in great ecstasy, make, he uh, makes resounding sounds. Egvi prabhade prabhu chana nadoriya prabhu sange nritya kore prema vishtahoya. One Brahmin fell at the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then began to dance with him in ecstatic love. So this is in Mathura. One Brahmin fell at the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then began to dance with him in ecstatic love. Duhe prema, duhe prema nritya kore kore. Kolakuli Hare Krishna Kahaduhe Bole Bahutuli. The two of them danced in ecstatic love and embraced each other. Raising their arms, they said, Chant the holy name of Hari and Krishna. 
Loka Hari Hari Bole, Kola Hala Hoila, Keshava Sevaka Prabhuke Mala Paraila. All the people then began to chant, Hari Hari, and there was a great uproar. The priest and Lord Keshava's service offered Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu a garland. Loke Kohe Prabhu Deke, Haya Vishmoi, Aiche Hena Prima, Lokika Kabunoi. When the people saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's dancing and chanting, they were struck with wonder, and they all said, Such, such love, such divine love is never an ordinary thing. Jaharadarshane loke premi matahaya hasikande nachigai krishna namaloya. The people said, Simply by seeing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, everyone is mad with love of Krishna. Indeed, everyone is laughing, crying, dancing, chanting, and taking the holy name of Krishna. Sarvata nishchitta iho, Krishnavatar, Matura Aila Loker, Kurite Nishtar. Certainly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in all respects the incarnation of Lord Krishna. Now he has come to Matura to deliver everyone. Tabe Mahaprabhu se Brahmane Loya. Tahare Puchila Kichu Nibrete Basia. After this, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took the Brahman aside. Sitting in a solitary place, the Lord began to question him. Arya Sarala Tumi Brita Brahman Kahahoite Paile Tumi E Primadan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, You are an elderly Brahman. You are sincere and you are advanced in spiritual life. Wherefrom have you gotten this transcendental opulence of ecstatic love for Krishna? Viprakohe Sripad Sri Madhavendra Puri Brahmate Brahmate Aila Matura Nagari. The Brahman replied, His Holiness Srila Madhavendra Puri came to the city of Mathura while he was on tour. Kripa kore te humora nilaye aila, more sisha kore mora, hate bika koila. While at Mathura, Sripad Madhavendra Puri visited my house and accepted me as a disciple. He even took lunch at my home. Gopala prakata kore seva koila mahashai, adyapiya tahara seva govardhane hoi. After installing the deity of Gopal, Srila Madhavendra Puri rendered him service. That very deity is still being worshipped at Govardhan Hill. Shuni Prabhu Koilatara Charana Bandan Baya Paya Prabhu Pai Padila Brahman. As soon as Mahaprabhu heard about Madhavendra Puri's relationship with the Brahman, he immediately offered obeisances at his feet. Becoming fearful, the Brahman also immediately fell at the Lord's feet. Prabhu Kohe Tumi Guru Ami Sishya Prai Guru Hoya Sishya Namaskara Na Jujai Mahaprabhu said, You are on the platform of my spiritual master, and I am your disciple. Since you are my spiritual master, it is not befitting that you offer me obeisances. Because when Mahaprabhu heard that 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 Brahman is a disciple of Madhavendra Puri, then, then Mahaprabhu uh, accepted him as his Guru Tattva, like his, we can say, is Guru Varga. Guru Varga, he is accepting him as like, uh, as a god brother of his Guru and Mahaprabhu showing him all respect. But the Brahman that Brahman from Mathura, he's, he becomes uh, afraid in the sense that he's very startled. Why is Mahaprabhu is this ecstatic sannyasi and why is he offering me obeisances? And Mahaprabhu explains, Shunya bishmita vipra kohe bhaya bhaya aiche bhat kaha kene sannyasi hoya. Upon hearing this, the Brahman became afraid, and he then said, why do you speak like this? You are a sannyasi. Because the Brahman's thinking, you're, you're this exalted sannyasi, and I'm a fallen grihastra. Why, why do you say like that? But it is true that he is 
took initiation from Madhavendra Puri and is a god brother of Mahaprabhu's guru Ishwara Puri. So, why do you speak like this? You are a sannyasi. Kintu to mara prema deki mani anumani Madhavendra Puri sambandha dharajani. Upon seeing your ecstatic love, I can just imagine that you must have some relationship with Madhavendra Puri. This is my understanding. So, that Brahman also says to Mahaprabhu, seeing your ecstatic love, I can also see that you have some relationship with Madhavendra Puri also. Krishna Prima Taha Jaha Tahara Sambandha Tahanvina E Primara Kahanahi Ganda. This kind of ecstatic love can be experienced only when one has a relationship with Madhavendra Puri. Without him, even a scent of such transcendental ecstatic love is impossible. It is also quite true that Mahaprabhu, he uh, took initiation within that the line of Madhvacharya. But that kind of that kind of relationship and worship of Radha Govinda, the that kind of ecstatic love that. Sri Madhavendra Puri showed that is uh, that is unique. It was not shown before. So the Brahman is correct when he says this kind of ecstatic love can be experienced only when one has a relationship with Madhavendra Puri. Without him, even a scent of such transcendental ecstatic love is impossible. So that kind of transcendental love also wasn't it wasn't in uh, Madhvacharya Sampradaya. But it was, it did uh, come there with the person of Madhavendra Puri. He's really the first person to bring this level of divine love to that, to the Madhvacharya Sampradaya. Tabe Bhattacharya Tari Sambandha Kohila Shunyanandita Vipra Nachite Lagila. Balabhadra Bhattacharya then explained. The relationship between Madhavendra Puri and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. After hearing this, the Brahman became very pleased and began to dance. Tabi vipra prabhure loya aila ninjagare apana ichaya prabhur nana sevakore. The Brahman then took Mahaprabhu to his home and out of his own free will began to serve the Lord in various ways. Bikalagi Bhattacharya Koraila Randan Tabima Prabhu Hase Bolila Bhajan. He asked Balabhadra Bhattacharya to cook Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lunch. At that time, the Lord, smiling, spoke as follows Purigosai Tomare Gare Karyachena Bika Moretumi Bika Deho E Moras Shika. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Madhavendra Puri has already taken lunch at your place. Therefore, you may cook and give me the food. That is my instruction. Yadyada charati shrestas tatta devita rojana sayat pramanam kurute lokas tad anuvartate. Whatever action a great man performs, common men follow. And whatever standards he sets by exemplary acts, so the world pursues. And this is a quotation from Bhagavad Gita. Yad Yadyapi Sanudiya Hoi Se Brahman Sanudiya Gare Sanyasi Nakore Bojad. The Brahman belonged to the Sanudiya Brahman community, and a sanyasi does not accept food from such a Brahman. But uh, in northwestern India, Vaishyas are divided into various subdivisions. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur points out that they are divided as Agarwal, Kalawara, and uh, Sanwara. One of them, the Agarwals, are said to be first class Vaishyas, and the Kalawaras and Sanwaras are considered lower doing due to their occupational degradation. So, the, so we know a number of Agarwalas are considered high in the Vaishya community. Uh, 
The color, water, the color waters generally take wine and other intoxicants. Although they are vicious, they are considered to belong to a lower class. The priests who guide the color waters and the sun waters are called Sanodiya Brahmins. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur states that the word Sanu, sanu Yada in Bengal indicates Suvarnavanic. In Bengal, there are priests who guide the Suvarnavanic community, which are which is also considered a low class. There is little difference between the Sanwaras and the Suvarnavaniks. A lot of times the Suvarnavaniks, they, they, they trade in gold. Generally, the Suvarnavaniks are bankers dealing in gold and silver. In Western India, the Agarwalas also belong to the banking profession. This is the original business of the Suvarnavanik or Agarwala community. Historically, the Agarwalas came from the upcountry named Ayodhya, and the Suvarnavanic community also came from Ayodhya. It therefore appears that the Suvarnavanics and Agarwalas belong to the same community. The Sanodiya Brahmins were the guides of the Kala waters and Sun waters. They are therefore considered to be low class Brahmins and a sannyasi is not allowed to take alms or food from them. However, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted lunch cooked by a Sanodiya Brahmin simply because he belonged to Madhava, Madhavendra Puri's community. Srila Madhavendra Puri was the spiritual master of Ishwara Puri, who was the spiritual master of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thus, a spiritual relationship is established on the spiritual platform without consideration of material inferiority or superiority. So as mentioned here, the, sun, the Brahman who is dancing with Mahaprabhu in the, in, the, in the Mathura Keshava temple, he was a Sanudiya Brahman. And the Sanu, normally the sannyasis would not take a meal or eat a food cooked by such a Brahman. But Madhavendra, but Madhavendra Puri did so. And the reason Madhavendra Puri did is because he recognized the devotion of the Sanodiya Brahman and he initiated them. Because, because Madhavendra Puri accepted that Brahman, Mahaprabhu was not concerned about social convention. Then he was, since Madhavendra Puri had accepted lunch at his house, then Mahaprabhu was happy to accept lunch cooked by that Sanudiya Brahman at his home. Tatapi puri deki tara vaishnava char sishya kori tara bhikkha koila angikar. Although the Brahman belonged to the Sanudiya community, Srila Madhavendra Puri had seen that he behaved like a Vaishnava and had therefore accepted him as his disciple. The food he had cooked also had been accepted by Madhavendra Puri. <laughs> Mahaprabhu Tare Jari Bhikkha Magila Dhanya Kore Se Vipra Kohite Langila. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu willingly requested food from the Brahman, and the Brahman, feeling natural humility, began to speak as follows Tomare Bhikkha Diva Bora Bhagya Se Amar Tumi Ishwara Nahi Tomar Bidi Bhyamahar. It is a great fortune for me to offer you food. You're the Supreme Lord, and being in the transcendental position, you're not restricted in any way. Murkalo kori beka tomara nindan, saitin aparimu se dushter bachan. Foolish people will blaspheme you, but I shall not tolerate the words of such mischievous people. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur remarks that although the Brahmin did not belong to a superior community, he fearlessly chastised so called caste Brahmins because he was situated on the platform of pure devotional service. There are people who are opposed to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's accepting a Vaishnava belonging to a lower caste. Such people do not consider Mahaprasadam transcendental. And therefore, they are described here as murka, foolish, and dushta, mischievous. A pure devotee has the power to challenge such high caste people. And his brave statements are not to be considered proud or puffed up. (laughs) 
On the contrary, he is to be considered straightforward. Such a person does not like to flatter high-class Brahmins who belong to the non-Vaishnav community. Prabhupada Shruti Smriti Jata Rishigan Sabi Ek Mata Nahi Bina Bina Dharma Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, The Vedas, Puranas, and great learned sages are not always in agreement with one another. Consequently, there are different religious principles. Dharma stapana hetu sadhur sadhura vyabhar purigosar jaya charan se dharmasar. A devotee's behavior establishes the true purpose of religious principles. The behavior of Madhavendra Puri is the essence of such religious principles. Tarko pratishta shutayo vibhina nashavrishir yasya matam nabhinam dharmasya tatvam nihitam guhayam mahajano yena gathasapanta. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued, dry arguments are inconclusive. A great personality whose opinion does not differ from others is not considered a great sage. Simply by studying the Vedas, which are variegated, one cannot come to the right path by which religious principles are understood. The solid truth of religious principles is hidden in the heart of an unadulterated, self-realized person. Consequently, as the Shastras confirm, one should accept whatever progressive path the Mahajans advocate. So this verse is from the Mahabharata, which we just heard. Tabise vipra prabhuke bhikkha karaila marupurir loksab prabhuke nekite aila. After this discussion, the Brahmins served lunch to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then all the people residing in Mathura came to see the Lord. Laka Sankhya Lok Aise Nahika Gaman Mahira Hoya Prabhu Dila Darshan. People came by the hundreds of thousands and no one could count them. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came out of the house to give his darshan to the people. Bahutuli Boli Prabhu Hari Boldwani Premi Mata Nache Lok Kore Hari Dwani. When the people assembled, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu raised his arms and said very loudly, Haribo! The people responded to the Lord and became ecstatic. As if, as if mad, they began to dance and to vibrate the transcendental sound Hari. Jamunara Chabis Gate Prabhu Koilasnan. Se vipra prabhu ke dekaya tirtastan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bathed in the 24 ghats along the banks of the Jamuna, and the Brahman showed him all the places of pilgrimage. 24 ghats bathing places along the Jamuna are Avimukta, Aniruda, Guya Tirta, Prayog Tirta, Kanakala Tirta, Tinduka, Surya Tirta, Vata. Mata Swami, Dhruvagat, Rishi Tirta, Moksha Tirta, Bodha Tirta, Gokarna, Krishna Ganga, Vaikunta, Ashikunda, Chatus, Samudrika Kupa, Akrura Tirta, Yagika Viprastan, Kubja, Kubja Kupa, uh, Rangastali, Mancha, Mancha Stala, Ma, Mala Judah Stan, and Dasha Vameda. That's a 24. Um, 24 ghats, and Vrindab, famous ghats in Vrindam. Swayambhuva Vishram Dirga Vishnu Bhuteshwar Mahavidya Gokarnadi Dekila Bistar. 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited all the holy places on the banks of the Jamuna, including Swayambhu, Vishramagat, Dirga Vishnu, Bhuteshwara, Mahavidya, and Gokarna. Bana Deki Bari Jari Prabhur Manahoila, Seta Brahmane Prabhu Sangete Loila. When Mahaprabhu wanted to see the various forests of Vrindavan, he took the Brahman with him. Madhuvan, Tala Kumuda, Bahula, Vanagela, Tahan Tahan Snanakori, Prima Vishta Hoila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited the different forests, including Madhuvan, Talavan, Kumudavan, and Bahulavan. Wherever he went, he took his bath with great ecstatic love. Pate Gabi Gata Chore Prabhure Dekia Prabhu Ke Badaya Ashi Hunkarakoriya. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passed through Vrindavan, herds of grazing cows saw him pass and immediately surrounded him and, and immediately surrounding him began to move very loudly. Pate Gabi Gata Chore Prabhu Redekiya Prabhu Ke Bedaya Ashi Hunkara Kori Hunkara Koriya when Mahaprabhu passed through Vrindavan, herds of grazing cows also saw him pass and immediately surrounded him, began to moo very loudly. Gabideki stabda prabhu primera tarange batsalye gabi prabhu chate sabha ange. Seeing the Lord, seeing the herds approach him, the Lord was stunned with ecstatic love. The cows then began to lick his body out of great affection. Shustahoya Prabhu Kori Anga Kandujan Prabhu Sange Chalinahi Chari Denugan Becoming pacified, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to caress the cows and the cows, being unable to give up his company, went with him. Kaste shristi denu sa goyao Prabhu kanta dwani shuni aishe mrigapal It was only with great difficulty that the cowherd men were able to keep the cows back. Then when the Lord chanted, all the deer heard his sweet voice and approached him. Mrigu mrigi mukadeki prabhu anga chate mayanahi kore sange jai bate bate. When the does and bucks came and saw the Lord's face, they began to lick his body. Not being at all afraid of him, they accompanied him along the path. Shuka pika bringa prabure deki punch punchamagai saki gana nritti kore prabhu prabhu age jai. Bumblebees and birds like the parrot and cuckoo all began to sing loudly on the fifth note, and the peacocks began to dance in in four in began to dance in front of the Lord. Bumblebees and birds, like the parrot and cuckoo, all began to sing loudly on the fifth note, and the peacocks began to dance in front of the Lord. Prabhudeke, Brindavaner, Brika, Latagane, Ankura, Pulaka, Madhu, Ashruda, Vishvarishane. Upon seeing Mahaprabhu, the trees and creepers of Vrindavan became jubilant. Thus, their twigs stood up and they began to shed tears of ecstasy in the form of honey. Fulafala bori dala pade prabhu pai bandu deki bandu jena beta loi beta lana jai. The tree branches and creepers overloaded with fruits and flowers 
fell down at the lotus feet of the Lord and, and greeted him with various presentations as if they were friends. Prabhudeke Brindavaner Stavara Jangam Anandita Bandhu Jena Deke Bandhugan. Thus, all the moving and non moving living entities of Vrindavan became very jubilant to see the Lord. It was as if friends were made happy by seeing another friend, especially a friend who they, who they saw during the Krishna Leela. Now he's come as Mahaprabhu. Tasabar Pritideke Prabhu Bhababeshe. Sabasani Krita Kori Hayatarabase. Seeing their affection, the Lord was moved by ecstatic love. He began to sport with them exactly as a friend sports with his friends. Thus, he, he voluntarily came under the control of his friends. Prati Vrikalata Prabhu Korana Alingan Pushpari Jane Koran Krishna Samarpan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to embrace each and every tree and creeper. And they began to offer their fruits and flowers as if in meditation. Ashukampa Pulaka Prime, Sharira Astire, Krishna Krishna Bo, Krishna Bo, Boli, Uchaishvare. The Lord's body was restless and tears trembling. Uh, the, the Lord's body was restless and tears trembling and jubilation were manifest. He said very loudly. Krishna bowl, Krishna bowl, chant Krishna, chant Krishna. Stavara Jangama Mili, Kore Krishna Dwani, Prabhura Gambira, Swari Jaina Prati Dwani. All moving and non moving creatures then began to vibrate the transcendental sound of Hare Krishna as if they were echoing the deep sound of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mrigara Galadari Prabhu Korana Rodane Mrigera Pulaka Ange Ashru Nayane. The Lord then clasped the necks of the deer and began to cry. There was jubilation manifest in the bodies of the deer, and tears were in their eyes. Brikadale Shukashari Diladarshan Tahadeki Prabhura Kichu Shunite Hoilaman. When a male and female parrot appeared on the branches of a tree, the Lord saw them and wanted to hear them speak. Shuka Sharika Prabhur Hate Uripade Prabhuke Shunaya Krishna Guna Shloka Pade. Both parrots flew onto the, onto the hand of the Lord and began to chant the transcendental qualities of Krishna, and the Lord listened to them. Sondaryam lalanali darya dalanam lila ramastambini viryam kandu ki tadri varyam amala pari parardam guna shilam sarva jananu ranjanam shila sarva jananu Ranjanam Aho Yashyamam Asmat Prabhur Vishvam Vishva Janina Kirtir Avatat Krishna Jagan Mohana. The male parrot said, Let me, let me sing, I want to say this verse again. Sondaryam Lalana Lidarya Dalanam Lila. Ramastambini Viryam Kandu Kitadri Varyam Amala Pari Parardam Guna Shilam Sarva Jananu Ranjanam Aho Yashayam Asmat Prabhur Vishvam Vishvajanina Kirtir Avatat Krishna Jagan Mohana The male parrot sang the glorification of Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, it is beneficial to 
everyone in the universe. His beauty is victorious over the gopis of Vrindavan, and it sub subdues their patience. His pastimes astound the goddess of fortune, and his bodily strength turns Govardhan Hill into a small toy like a ball. His spotless qualities are unlimited, and his behavior satisfies everyone. Lord Krishna is attractive to everyone. Oh, may our Lord maintain the whole universe. This verse is found in the Govinda Lilamrita that's also composed by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, who wrote the, who of course wrote the Chaitanya Charitamrita. Shuka muye shuni tabe Krishna ravarnan sharika padaye tabe radhika varnan. After hearing this description of Lord Krishna from the male parrot, the female parrot began to recite a description of Srimati Radharani. Shri Radhikaya Priyata Surupata Sushilata Nartana Ganachaturi Gunali Sampad Kavita Charajate Jagan Manamohana Chitta Mohini. The female parrot said, Srimati Radharani's affection, her exquisite beauty and good behavior, her artistic dancing and chanting and her poetic compositions are all so attractive that they attract the mind of Krishna who attracts the mind of everyone in the universe. Punashuka Kohe Krishna Madana Mohan Kabi Arashloka Shuka Korila Patan Thereafter, the male parrot said, Krishna is the enchanter of the mind of Cupid. He then began to recite another verse. Vamsidari Jagannari Chittahari Sasharike Vihari Gopa Narivir Jiyan Mandava Mohana The male parrot then said, My dear Shari, female parrot, Sri Krishna carries the flute and enchants the hearts of all women throughout the universe. He is especially, uh, he is specifically the enjoyer of the beautiful gopis, and he is the enchanter of Cupid also. Let him be glorified. Let, let Krishna be glorified. Punashari Kaheshuke. Kore Parihas, Tahashuni Prabhura, Koila Vishmoy Premulas. Then the female parrot began to speak jokingly to the male parrot. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was struck with wonder, went stuck, struck with wonderful, ecstatic love to hear her speak. Thus the female parrot began to speak jokingly to the male parrot, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was struck with wonderful ecstatic love to hear her speak. Radha Sange Jadabhati Taramadana Mohana Anyata Vishramanopi Svayam Madhava Mohita. The female parrot said, When Sri Krishna is with Radharani, he is the enchanter of Cupid. Otherwise, when he is alone, he himself is enchanted by erotic feelings, even though he enchants the whole universe. So, so Krishna is Marana Mohan uh, when he's with Srimati Radharani. But when he's not with Srimati Radharani, he himself becomes Mohana. He, 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 he himself becomes, becomes uh, en, enchanted, enchanted by Srimati Radharani. Sukashari Udipona, Gela Brikadale, Mayorera Nitya Prabhu Deke Kutuhale. Both parrots then flew onto a tree branch, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to watch the dancing of the peacocks with curiosity. Mayorera Kantadeki Prabhura Krishna Smriti Hoila Primaveshe Mahaprabhu Bhumete Parila. When the Lord saw the bluish necks of the peacocks, his remembrance of Sri Krishna immediately awakened, 
and he fell to the ground in ecstatic love. Pravore murchite deke seta brahman bhadacharya sange kore prabhura shanta shantarpan when the brahmins when the brahmin saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was unconscious, he and Balabhadra Bhattacharya took care of him. Aste Vyaste, Aste Vyaste Mahaprabhu, Loya Bahirvas, Jalas Seka, Koriange, Vastrara Vila, Vil, Vastrara Vatash, Ani. Aste Vyaste Mahaprabhu Loya Bahirvas Jalaseka Koriange Vastrara Bhattash. They hastily sprinkled water over the Lord's body. Then they took up his outer cloth and began to fan him with it. So they're fanning Mahaprabhu. His, when he saw the bluish color of the peacocks, he remembered Krishna and he fell to the ground in ecstatic love, so he's enchanted. And when the Brahmin saw that Mahaprabhu was unconscious, he and Bala Bhadra Bhattacharya took care of him. They hastily sprinkled water up over the Lord's body. Then they took him up his outer cloth and began to fan him with it. Prabhu Karne. So it says bahirvas, which means outer, outer, outer cloth, but, in speci but it also refers to a sannyasi's dhoti. Sannyas dhoti is not as long as regular dhotis, and they, perhaps for that reason, they refer to um, to the sannyasi's the sannyas dhoti as bahirvas usually. Prabhu karne Krishna nam kohi Chaitanya Paya Prabhu Jana Garagadi. They then began to chant the holy name of Krishna into the Lord's ear. When the Lord regained consciousness, he began rolling on the ground. Kantika Durga Mavani Angakata Hoila Bharacharya Kole Kori Prabhure Shushta Koila. When the Lord rolled on the ground, sharp thorns injured his body. Taking, taking him on his lap, Balabhadra Bhattacharya pacified him. Well, here it says, oh, it's, it's that cat. There's a cat at the door. Here. That is looking in. Malabhadra Bhattacharya. Okay, now he went back. Kantaka Durga Mavani Angakata Koila Bhattacharya Kole Kori Prabhure Jushta Koila. When the Lord rolled on the ground, sharp thorns injured his body. Taking him in his arms, Balabhadra Bhattacharya pacified him. So sometimes in many places it refers to kola, kole kori, and it's translated here as taking him in his arms, uh, taking him in his, on his lap. But I believe the correct translation of kola kori is to take him in his arms, uh, because sometimes it, just refers to how a person takes somebody on their lap. So, but I believe taking in his, in his arms. Krishna Veshi, but I'm not, I mean, uh, that's the way it's usually translated, taking him on his lap. But I've read translations that, can, that it can be uh, taking him in his arms, and I think it makes a little more sense. When the Lord rolled on the ground, sharp thorns injured his body. Taking him in his arms, Balabhadra Bhattacharya pacified him. Krishna Veshi Prabhur Premi Karagarman Bobo Kori Ute Koranan Artan. 
The mind of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered in ecstatic love of Krishna. He immediately stood up and said, Bo, bo, chant, chant. Then he himself began to dance. Bharacharya se vipra krishna nam gai nachite nachite pate prabhu chali jai. Being thus ordered by the Lord, both Balabhadra Bharacharya and the Brahman, the Sanodaya Brahman, began to chant the holy name of Krishna. Then the Lord, dancing and dancing, proceeded along the path. Prabhura prima veshadeki brahmana bishmita prabhura rakkalage vipra hoila chintita. The Brahman was asta- astonished to see the symptoms of ecstatic love exhibited by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He then became anxious to give the Lord protection. Because Mahaprabhu, when he was rowing on the ground, his body was being cut by sharp thorns, but, but Mahaprabhu was oblivious. And Balabhadra Bhattacharya tried to calm Mahaprabhu down. And then the mind of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, wandering in ecstatic love of Krishna, he immediately stood up and said, Chant, chant. Then he himself began to dance. So you can see that Mahaprabhu in Vrindavan, he is completely, oh, he is overwhelmed. He has become so ecstatic that it's almost, how he, he, almost not being able to function. Uh, being thus ordered by the Lord, both Balabhadra Bhattacharya and the Brahma began to chant the holy name of Krishna. Then the Lord, dancing and dancing, proceeded along the path. Prabhura Prima Veshadeki, Brahmana Vishmita, Prabhura Rakalage, Vipra Hoila Chindita. The Brahma was astonished to see the symptoms of ecstatic love exhibited by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He then became anxious to give the Lord protection. Mahaprabhu is so overwhelmed with ecstasy that the Brahman becomes very concerned and he wants to, and he became anxious to give the Lord protection. Nila Chali Chila Jai Che Prima Veshaman, Brindavana Jai Te Pate Hoila Shatagun. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mind was absorbed in ecstatic love at Jagannath Puri, but when he passed along the road on the way to Vrindavan, that love increased a hundred times. Sahasra guna prima bore matura darshane, laka guna prima bore brahmena jave bane. The Lord's ecstatic love increased a thousand times when he visited Mathura, but it increased a hundred thousand times when he wandered in the forest of Vrindavan. Anyadej prema uchale Vrindavana name, sakat brahmaye ebe shri Vrindavane. Preme gara gara man ratri divase, snana bhikkhari nirvaha korana abhyase. When Mahaprabhu was elsewhere, the very name of Vrindavan was sufficient to increase his ecstatic love. Now when he was actually traveling in the Vrindavan forest, his mind was absorbed in ecstatic love day and night. He ate and bathed simply out of habit simply by habit, not even conscious of what he's doing, but he would, he's so absorbed in in this ecstasy of divine love, he ate and bathed simply out of habit. Emata prema javat brahmila barban, ekatra likilun sarvatra najai varnan. Thus I have written a description of the ecstatic love Lord Chaitanya manifest in one of the places he visited while walking through the twelve forests of Vrindavan. To describe what he experienced everywhere would be impossible. Vrindavan e hoila prabhura jatrika primera vikar koti grante ananta likena tahara vistar. Lord Ananta writes, built, writes millions of books elab- elaborately describing the transformations of ecstatic love experienced by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Vrindavan. Tabu likibare nare tara ekkan udesha kori te kori digdarashan. Since Lord Anand himself cannot describe even a fragment of these pastimes, I am simply pointing out the direction. 
Jagat Bashila Chaitanya Lila Rapatare Jara Jata Shakti Tare Patare Santare. The whole world became merged in the inundation of the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One can swim in that water to the extent that he has the strength. Sri Rupa Raghunath Parijara As Chaitanya Charitamrita Kohe Krishna Das. Praying at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath, always desiring their mercy, I Krishna Das narrate Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Thus, and the Bhaktivedanta purports to Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila, 17th chapter, describing the Lord's traveling to Vrindavan. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shimadu Sudan Giridari Gopinatha Mananamon Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Garadara Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhatta Raghunam Shri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunam Echai Gosai Kori Charanabandhan Jao hoite vignana shavista puran. Echai gosai jar mui taradas. Pasabar padarinu mora panchagras. Tadir Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhas Janame Janame More Abhilas Ajai Gosai Jabe Bhaje Koila Bhas Rana Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Prakash Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavan Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriyas Hari Nam Sankirtana Kohe Naratamodas Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hare
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नीताय गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नीताय गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो जाय स परिकर शिशि गुरु गुरंग गण दार्भिक गिरिरि जो की जाय जाय ओम विष्णु पाद Shila Bhakti Nirmalacharya Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila Bhakti Rakak Shridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Shila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila Gaur Kishor Das Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila Satchid Ananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sarva Bhama Shila Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai Namachari Shila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raguna Shri Jeeva Gopal Bhatta Dasha Raguna Shad Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Prem Si Go Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadanhar Shri Vasudhi Shri Gaurav Bhakta Brinda Ki Jai Shri La Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Charitamriti Ki Jai Shri La Vrindavan Das Sakur Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Bhagwat Ki Jai Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnipad Vishvavarenya Shri La Bhakti Viranta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananda Koti Vaishna Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Acharya Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Nabharip Dham Ki Jai Shri Dham Mayapur Ki Jai Saparshita Shri Nityananda Prabhu Ki Jai Saparshita Shri Man Mahaprabhu Ki Jai Shri Kaladvip Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai Sokel Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai Ganga Devi Ki Jai Tulasi Maharani Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Shri Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Go Gopi Govardhan Shyam Kuna Radha Kunda Kalindi Yamuna Ju Ki Jai Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo